going to show you the quickest and easiest way to get mods in Lethal Company. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to Google and search Thunderstore and then click on the very first thing, thunderstore.io. Next, you'll want to go right here at the top and click Get App. This page will pop up and you'll want to click Download to install the Thunderstore Mod Manager. It's a add-on to Overwolf. Once you do that, you'll run it and then do the install. Once you open Thunderstore, you'll come right here and search for Lethal Company. Click on the game. And then it'll ask you to create a profile or you can use default. So just click create new, type in whatever you want to name the profile, select it. And then next step is to click on get mods. In this list, you'll find every mod that users have created for the game. Once you see a mod you want, you'll just click on it and click download. After you click download, it'll add it to your mods list. These are the nine mods that I currently use. And these two on the top, I think, are 100% necessary. So you got LC API, the, the Bepin EX pack, and then the ones I use for the game are more suits, which just gives you a few more suits to choose from that are pretty cool. I use the flashlight toggle mod, which allows you to press F to toggle on the flashlight, no matter if you're holding it or not. The ship clock just lets you see the clock at the top of the screen, even if you're in the ship or outside. Um, I turned on late company. It says a mod allows players to join after the game starts. I'm not sure if that works or not. I wasn't able to test it yet. Um, ship loot, if you scan the loot, it shows the total of all the loot on your ship, even if it's not within the scanner's range. I use bigger lobbies so we can allow more than four people to play at one time. And I also use the walkie use. It lets you press R to use the walkie talkie, no matter if you're holding it or not. The very last step you'll want to do is come over here and click play and modded that'll allow the game to launch with all the mods keep in mind anyone that you invite to the game or that wants to play in your lobby must install must do all these steps and install the same mods and have them active if not when you launch the game and invite somebody it'll say they're on a different version i hope this was a quick and easy guide the full description and steps will be linked in the description